Undoubtedly one of the coolest features of Apple Vision Pro is its ability to connect to any Mac and stream its display in really high resolution with very low latency. But when you do that, the screen of said MacBook is going to go completely blank. And it kind of makes you wonder, why have the screen at all? Well, I'm sold. Let's behead this MacBook Air and we're gonna run it with virtual display only right after a word from today's video sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Trend Micro's Premium Security Suite. Premium Security Suite offers complete device and identity protection across PC, Mac, phones, and tablets. It's their most comprehensive security option with 24-7 protection, ID security through dark web monitoring, secure VPN for public Wi-Fi, a simple and secure password manager, and a personal help desk for all things technical. What the heck? That's a, that's a lot of stuff. Holy cow. That VPN Proxy One Pro is bundled to encrypt your communications and block dangerous and malicious websites. Part of Trend Micro's holistic approach toward keeping you safe online. And I love that it combines all of these different aspects of personal safety and online security to make sure that you feel at ease. If you want to learn more about the premium security suite, check out the link in the description below. Thanks to Trend Micro for keeping me protected and for sponsoring this video. Now let's get back to it. A couple of months ago, we built this headless MacBook Pro and you guys absolutely loved it. But the thing about headless MacBooks is they always have to be plugged in with a wire to something. That is until now. If we took the screen off, it would basically be the perfect Vision Pro companion, a little macOS slab with a keyboard and trackpad that connects wirelessly. I mean, that sounds awesome. So let's do it. So if for whatever insane reason you wanna try this yourself, here's how to remove the screen from an M2 MacBook Air. First, we'll shut it down, and then we're gonna turn the machine over. Now these MacBooks only have four P5 bottom screws, so mostly they're held on with clips. And to disengage those clips, it helps to have a suction cup like this, as well as a pick that you can use to wedge in the case like that. And then we're just gonna slide around the side, and you can hear those clips releasing. Then we'll kind of rotate around here and slide the bottom case off. There we go. Once we're in, it's always a good idea to just disconnect the battery just to be safe. Next, we'll lift this little foam pad that covers the screws on this shield. And then we'll disconnect both of the display data connections. And since Apple loves putting shields over all their connectors, we gotta remove this one, this one, and this one. One more shield to go. This time it's on the display data cable. We can go ahead and lift that up. Actually, I lied. There's more shields over the hinge covers. And of course, this being Apple, they are color matched and machined out of aluminum. Next, we're gonna remove two of the three T8 Torx screws on either side. We're gonna leave this guy here in the middle. All right, now we have to remove these speaker pods. So we've got three T5 Torx screws on each side, and then that whole assembly just lifts straight up very easily. Now you might think we're ready to start removing here, but this is Apple, so they hide a tiny, tiny little screw for the display lid angle sensor. It's a T2 screw bit, and it just hides right off to the left side of the hinge. All right, and now we're ready to remove the display. We'll stand the MacBook up and we're gonna open the screen and now we'll get that T8 back and we'll remove the remaining hinge screws on either side. Delicately remove the display. This is actually a really easy process. Other MacBooks, you kind of have to, you know, kind of negotiate the angle of that case, but the M2 MacBook Air is really super duper easy. So now all we have to do is partially reassemble the MacBook. We're just going to put the speaker assemblies back in. And this is actually another benefit of doing this with Apple Silicon. The speaker assemblies in the M2 MacBook Air are also the Wi-Fi antennas. You may remember when I did this over the summer, I had to basically take the display apart and harvest the antennas from it. And then we had to kind of create this weird contraption. Well, we don't have to do that with the M2 MacBook Air. So that's pretty nifty. Okay, so we'll reconnect the battery. And honestly, I'm feeling too lazy to put all of the little shields over these connectors. So I'm just gonna put the bottom case back on and we'll call it a day. And there we have it. That is our headless 
M2 MacBook Air. Oh my God, look at this thing. Okay, the trackpad is clicking. All right, we're in. <laughs> oh my God, look at this thing. It's so tiny without the screen. I mean, my goodness. All right, now we gotta see if the Vision Pro will still connect to it if it doesn't have a screen on it. Okay, I put in my password, so I should be logged in, and now we'll put on the Vision Pro. We started screen recording on the Vision Pro, and now, oh my God, dude, the connect button is floating right where the top of the screen should be. If I click it, is it gonna work? No. And look, there is the iFixit page that I was looking at to make sure I remembered how to do this. That's crazy. Look at this thing. It looks incredible. It's like just the keyboard and trackpad. And then we have this massive virtual display. Oh, wow. I wonder if we could even shrink the virtual display down and put it in place of where the real one was. <laughs> Whoa, that's weird. Look at that. It's a truly bezel-less MacBook. Wow. Okay, wait, but in all seriousness, this is so freaking cool. It's just what you need. With Vision Pro on, I don't need a screen because I can take that, put it over there, and make it absolutely gigantic. Look, I know this is stupid, right? We just took the screen off a MacBook and it's just a normal MacBook doing what it's normally meant to do in Vision OS, but this is just so cool. So hey, look, this is like the perfect backpack setup now because I can just have the bottom half of my MacBook tucked away in my bag here. Go ahead and log in with Touch ID. Then I just put on my $3,500 headset. I don't think this is practical, but it's so cool. Look, there's no screen. This is kind of sick, I'm not gonna lie. It's very stupid, I just beheaded a MacBook for no reason, but look at it. And the nice thing about Apple Vision Pro is that we even have a lot of different options for configuring that display. So I could set it to 3840 by 2160. That would be perfect for working on stuff in Photoshop. I mean, my goodness, look how many UI elements I can fit on this screen. It's absolutely gigantic. But if I don't wanna do that, I can go back to settings back to display and we can go back to the default which is 1440p or I could even go for a super jumbo UI in which case I can just absolutely blow this screen up and look at the size of it. Oh my goodness. Not the first time that's been said. Gosh, if it weren't for the fact that I have now made my MacBook only usable with Vision Pro, I would say that this is actually a decent idea what do you think? Comment down below. Would you do this to your MacBook? Look, it's totally reversible. I can put the screen back on whenever I want. Does anyone else think this is like a great idea or am I just an insane person? And I am aware that I look like this while I'm saying it, so the only physical part of this workstation is this tiny, tiny little trackpad and keyboard. But we've got full Mac OS, we've got full Vision OS, and I mean, <laughs> What's not to love? In fact, this is such a good idea the, that I'm gonna make a commercial for it. I'm gonna call this the Vision Book Air. Are you tired of squinting at your puny MacBook Air's display? No matter how close you look, it's still too small. And when you're using it, you just can't get comfortable, no matter what you do. You thought it would get better with Apple Vision Pro, but you look like an idiot waving your arms around. You connected a Bluetooth keyboard, but you still look like a dumb sack of shit. There's gotta be a better way. Fortunately, now there is. We here at Miani Industries put the less in headless. Our patented process says goodbye to your strained eye. With just 25 short steps, we can take the knife to your strife, giving you the headless MacBook of your dreams. No way! We call it Vision Book Air Max Ultra. Gone are the days of squinting and straining for your viewing pleasure. Now you can sit back and relax. Let Vision Book's patented no screen design show you the world. That's pretty cool. Just connect your Apple Vision Pro and a huge screen pops up right in front of you. You can resize it, move 
move it around, or even make it really tiny if you're weird. Holy fuck! Vision Book is built to last. You can't crack a screen that isn't there. Besides, screens are yucky and covered in smudges, and they give you pneumonia. Just ask this doctor. Yeah. See? So what are you waiting for? Ditch those pesky displays and say hello to the rest of your days with Vision Book Air Max Ultra. Vision Book Air Max Ultra is not intended for use by those with high or moderate intelligence. Use of Vision Book Air Max Ultra may result in strangers finding you terribly annoying or stabbing you. Prolonged use may result in extreme headache, fatigue, muscle cramps, being hit by a bus, loss of friends or family, and in some rare cases, death by machete. Only use Vision Book Air Max Ultra as directed. So I hope you enjoyed this video. The headless MacBook has been a, a weirdly popular video on this channel and people seem to be really interested in it. So I couldn't help but bring Vision Pro into the equation because I feel like it's just the perfect application. I don't think that this is something that I would actually realistically do, except for if maybe I spent all my money on the Vision Pro and I can only afford a cracked MacBook Air, then it might make sense. But in all seriousness, there's really no sacrifices here. Unlike the previous headless MacBook Pro, you can use an M1 or an M2 MacBook without a screen and not have to worry about Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because the antennas are built in now. And as impractical as it is, a virtual display only Mac is pretty darn cool. So if you thought it was cool too, make sure to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one.